Okay, so if you watched my last video, you probably know this that the default rendering strategy in Next.js is server side rendering. And when this server side rendering happens on each request, we call it as dynamic server side rendering. And one of the ways to enable dynamic server side rendering, you can export this route segment configuration option called dynamic and set its value to force dynamic. This tells Next.js to render this particular page every time whenever a request comes. Now, do keep in mind that this is not the only way through which your route become dynamic you could be doing a lot of things in your page that will make your route dynamic for example if you are using cookies or headers from next headers or if you are using fetch with catch no store or next revalidate zero option or if you are exporting this revalidate route segment configuration option and setting its value to zero in all of these cases your route will become dynamic that means the route is going to be rendered every single time whenever a request comes and now since rendering is happening on each request there is this possibility that rendering may take some time and what this means is that when a user tries to access page like this they won't see anything for some time which basically contributes to a bad user experience and also hurts your google indexings so to fix this problem we can use a feature in next.js called streaming and streaming in this context simply refers to this idea that server can send parts of the HTML to the client as they get ready instead of waiting for the entire page to be rendered and then sending it to the client. In Next.js, you can implement streaming in two ways at the page level with loading file or for a specific components with suspense. So let's first see how do you implement streaming at page level. So here I have this dashboard page as you can see over here. The code of this page is pretty simple. I am just getting this dummy data and then I'm rendering this dummy data over here. And right now when I refresh the page, the page loads instantly, very, very fast. But imagine this scenario that for some reason, fetching data takes some amount of time. In this case, I have added up manual delay of seven seconds to actually show you that we are not loading anything for the seven seconds. And then after that, the content appears. So to fix this and improve the user experience, I'm going to be creating a loading.tsx file inside of the app directory this is just going to contain the loading ui and now when i try to refresh the page you will see that we are instantly seeing this loading screen and then after a few seconds the content will appear the important thing to notice about this loading file is that this will be shown for all the routes in the current segment and all of their children and what this means is that if i create another route over here for example let's say another route and this route also takes some amount of time to render. When a user try to access this another route, they are going to see the same loading screen and then the content of the page will appear. Now let's see how to implement streaming for individual components. But before we do that, let's first try to understand why would you do something like this? See the problem with dynamic server side rendering is that if you notice carefully that we are rendering all of these cards over here. And if any of these cards take some amount of time to render, it will slow down the entire rendering of the page. So for example, we can see over here, right? So it does not really make sense if you think about it, because if some component needs a lot more time to render, then why would it slow the rendering for the entire page? It does not really make sense. So that is why in this case, we are going to implement streaming of components, individual components. The first thing that I would do is I will create a loading skeleton that will closely resemble the UI of the dashboard cards. Then in our main file, I'm going to import suspense from react and then I will wrap all the instances of dashboard card component with suspense. And then in the fallback, I'm going to pass this loading skeleton. And what this means is that if this component takes any time to render for whatever reason, show this loading skeleton first. And when this component gets completely rendered, replace the loading skeleton with the actual content of the dashboard card. So now if I just come here and refresh the page, you'll see that we are first seeing that loading skeleton. And then after that, the content appears. But most importantly, the entire UI appears as soon as a user try to access this page. So let me show you. I will open this inside of a new tab and you can see everything is loaded very very fast then we started showing loading skeleton and then 
we loaded the content for all of these all right so this was a streaming in next years if you find this video valuable do like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one